Let's turn now to the environment sector where stakeholders have called on the federal government to ensure climate justice for the vulnerable in rural communities during natural disasters. This was disclosed at a workshop to inaugurate Nigeria's Climate Justice Alliance in Abuja. And Maya Mohammed reports, and after this report, we'll bring you updates in business and sports. Stay with us. Climate-related disasters and their impacts on communities are on the increase across the globe. And while some developed countries have been able to adapt to these impacts, the situation is not the same for most developing countries like Nigeria. A recent report by World Bank shows that Nigeria has 73% of its population living below the poverty line. This means struggling with multiple effects of climate and conflict shocks can be very tasking. It is why this group is calling the attention of the federal government to look into the plight of vulnerable rural dwellers and come to their aid. At this workshop, leaders shed light on what the nation needs to do in order to bring justice to the vulnerable in the society as a result of climate change. Africa contributes less than 10% to the issues of climate change, but the developed world are the ones, and that's where the injustice comes from, because they use uh, they've used the, our carbon budget, let me put it that way, the global carbon budget, to be able to develop themselves. While we in Africa, we are not able to develop ourselves because we need to use our natural resources to develop ourselves. Nigeria, for example, when flooding events happens, the ones that bear the greatest brunt are not the rich in Lagos, in Abuja, or uh, in Porakot. They are also the poorest of the poor in those communities. And they are the ones that have contributed the least to climate change. The issue of women being vulnerable to these issues, climate change issues and impacts, is a top priority for us. In order to tackle impacts of climate change, these experts believe the nation needs a massive increase on the optics of renewable energy. Mari Mohamed, TVC News, Abuja.